New York City's tough guy mayor, the mafia, and the waterfront. No, it's not a new musical. It's a war between some very big fish about selling fish and who's in charge. Here's NBC's John Miller. 2 a.m., New York's Fulton Fish Market, the largest seafood wholesaler in the country and long considered one of the mob's stronghold. Take it right there to take. 125 million fish are sold here every year. It is a billion dollar business. Lawmen say the Genovese crime family collected a hidden mob tax on every sale. Fishermen from South Carolina, truckers from Maine, patrons in New York restaurants, everyone paid a little extra. Costs could be as high as 20, 25% more because of the hidden tax by organized crime. What we're trying to do is to crush that. Back when the mayor was a federal prosecutor in New York, he took on the mob at the Fulton Fish Market, but with only limited results. Now he's trying it from a different angle, telling organized crime you can't fight City Hall. First, the mayor dug into the market's files, followed quickly by mob arsonists and a fire in the records building. Then, the mayor rewrote the rules, ousting businesses with alleged mob ties. But the mob dug in. Police say they still control traffic and payoffs here through the fish unloaders. So last week, the mayor fired them too. He's wrong, and he's not man enough to come down here and talk to us like men. 51! 51! Worried about possible confrontations, last night only 70 of an expected 100 trucks showed up, meaning some of the city's best restaurants had to wait or charge more. No payoffs, no shakedowns, none of that. Business people. Other cities where crime cartels control businesses must be watching what is happening in New York. The battle of wills over who really runs this place, the mayor or the mob. John Miller, NBC News, New York. The story wrapped up in symbols because, after all, the old mafia symbol for death or danger coming your way, a dead fish wrapped in a newspaper delivered to your doorstep. That's Nightly News for Thursday. I'm Tom Brokaw. I'll see you back here.